Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to Ah uh, Yeah Gaming. How y'all doing? Oh, let's go over my drink of the day. Drink of the day, everybody. Put your guesses in the comments. Is it gonna be the mug root beer or the cherry Pepsi? All right, drum roll, please. Da -da 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 -da. It is the cherry Pepsi, and it's almost finished. So I mean, I shouldn't have even brought it up. But let me take a swig here. Cheers, everybody. <sighs> oh, that was refreshing. Okay, let's get into the topic for today. So, for some reason. People won't fucking shut up about this topic, and they, they really want me to talk about it. On my email, there's one person who's emailed me two times the exact same thing, and in my comment section, I swear to god, multiple people have told me to talk about the Pizza Tower modding community. The fucking Pizza Tower modding community. And at first, I'm like, there's no way there's anything to talk about here, right? Like, I have not- other than, like, my comments on my email, I have never heard a single soul bring up the fucking Pizza Tower modding community in any sort of light, positive or negative. I had no fucking idea what any of it was. But you know what, desperate times Times call for desperate measures and I'm desperate for content so I finally caved and I looked into it and oh my f what I found was a little little bit more than I could have probably ever fucking thought in my entire life there's a lot here and I don't think there's enough for me to like I don't think this video is enough to go over everything that's here like let's just get let's get this right off the bat straight away this is going to be a very surface level non deep dive look into this entire rabbit hole. I feel like there could be a bigger video, like scripted, may not made on this. Uh, maybe not from me, but from anybody else. Uh, maybe I'll do it, probably not. But I mean, just like in theory, someone could, right? Because there's like, there's so many screenshots. There's so much shit to go over. And I don't know if I'm the person to do it. So let's just get this out of the way. This will be a very basic video. I'm probably going to get things wrong because this is a very complex and weird situation. But it's going to be a good enough overview that I think you'll understand the gist of what this is and I still don't think I understand it all myself but I can't really keep sitting here all day trying to look at all these disgusting ass screenshots trying to piece everything together so I'm going to tell you the story of this pizza tower modding drama as best as I can but I'm probably going to get some things wrong and it's going to be very surface level just letting you all know. But before we get into that, make sure you subscribe to the channel. For some reason, for some reason, I don't know what happened. YouTube is fucking this channel right now, and the sub count is pretty much just completely stopped. I'm not really sure what that's about. It was kind of just like a direct nosedive. I don't know, YouTube fucking with the channel, bro. It was gaining subs too fast. They're so like, no, 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 put a cap on that shit. So, you know what? If you're not subbed, just check if you're subbed. Subscribe. Help me out here. Uh, I'm sure this issue will be resolved once I finally shout out this channel on a main channel video, which is going to happen very soon. But uh, in the meantime, drop a sub. Help me out here. And I appreciate you all. Let's get into this nonsense. <laughs> all right. This all starts with a Pizza Tower mod called Cheesed Up, which I'd never heard of before this. Uh, my extent of Pizza Tower, like, modding or fan game knowledge before this was a game called Sugary Spire, which is just Pizza Tower, but everything's candy-themed, and it looked cool. Uh, I think that was in development, you know, before Pizza Tower even came out, kind of like in its, like, a uh, Patreon, like, alpha days or whatever. So that, that was a cool project, but that's all I knew about Pizza Tower modding, which is why I was kind of hesitant on even talking about this, because I was like, what the fuck is there even to talk about this? But apparently there's a lot to talk about, so let's keep going. The mod we're talking about today is called Cheesed Up. Now, cheesed up as far as I can tell, and trust me, it was for some reason very hard to figure out what this mod even was. The YouTube videos on this mod are like 144p for half of them, and there was like one video that kind of explained what it was from the person that made the mod themselves. Lo- Lo- Is it Loi Poil? Hold on, hold on. <laughs> lo- Loi- Loi Pole. Loi Pole, okay. The person that made the mod is Loy Pull, and you're gonna need to remember that name because it's coming back later in a fucking major way. But so anyway, there's a video on this the person's channel, Loy Pull, that kind of goes over an overview of what the mod is. And as far as I can tell, this mod is kind of just a remix mod. Uh, I think it's new levels, new mechanics, new gimmicks, and that's pretty much it. I think there's new playable characters. But as far as I can tell, that's what the mod was. Um, I'm not 100% sure, because once again, there's not a lot of YouTube videos on this, surprisingly, I guess. I don't know. Maybe it just wasn't that popular, but... Eh, I mean, maybe there's... I mean, there's just not that many Pizza Tower mods, I guess. So maybe that's kind of just it. But I mean, yeah, I, I can't really figure out exactly what it is, but I'm pretty sure it's just kind of like an adding more stuff, new levels, remix kind of mod. Now, the actual content of the mod it doesn't even matter, because... Uh, surprise, surprise, as far as I can tell, this mod has just recently been cancelled, and you're probably wondering why this mod has recently been cancelled, uh, and that takes us to the fucking main meat of this video, which is that 
Loipol is kind of like an insane person. Uh, so insane that people in the Pizza Tower modding community made a dedicated, <laughs> a dedicated website to archiving all of the wrongdoings of this person. And the tabs on this website are creep and cuck. <laughs> so you know we're already in good territory. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So, right, this all started with a game banana post that was linked to me, which is why how I found this website. And in this game banana post, uh, they talk about uh, a bunch of random shit. But the main thing was that they linked to the loipole.com, which is this archive of every single thing that this person has done that, you know, makes them worth hating or worth, you know, ridiculing or whatever, whatever. But before we get into that, we should probably talk about their Discord. So I'm pretty sure the only way you could download this mod was through a Discord. Um, and as far as I can tell, that Discord is now deleted. There's a video on YouTube of the downfall of the Pizza Tower cheesed up Discord, which kind of just archives what happened. I think it was hacked, but this could have easily just been someone on the mod team fucking the server over. I don't really know the story. It's just a video of it all. But I mean, it's just like typical Discord raid shit, you know, people spamming shit and like channels getting deleted or whatever. So I'm pretty sure that's how the Discord for this ended up getting nuked. Um, but that's not super important. But I'm pretty sure as far, unless they made a new Discord, which they might have. But as far as I can tell, the Discord where you even downloaded this mod, which is now canceled as far as I can tell, uh, isn't even a thing anymore. So I mean, even if you probably can't even find the mod download anymore, unless you go to like some other website that's archiving it or whatever. But enough about that. Let's talk about the loipole.com. So when you go to the website, it says, welcome to the Loipole Ex Expose. And the main meat on the website straight away is an entire page, you can just scroll down, of archive that the Pizza Tower cheesed up mod had a fucking IP logger in it for, for like an extended period of time. Let me read what it says. Loipole has been an IP logger in Cheesed Up. It sends it to the to a Discord webhook along with your computer's info. So this bro made this this fucking insane person made this Pizza Tower mod, one of the more notable ones, and put a fucking IP logger in it. <laughs> like, <laughs> can you imagine if this happened in the FNAF community? This would be fucking. Every plane trace type would be making videos on this. I'd probably make a video on this. That'd be insane. The FNAF fan game that's a fucking IP logger. But this just casually happened in the Pizza Tower community. And as far as I can tell, nobody's talking about it. Like, what the fuck? Okay, let's keep going. Note, as of October 27th, 2023, the IP logger has been removed, but we're keeping this up to inform others. You can view the comet history from a fork of the source code here. And then they have all the screenshots proving that this IP logger was in the source code or the code or whatever on the GitHub for this mod, which is just fucking insane. <laughs> like for obvious reasons, uh, obviously you don't want games you're playing, the developers of those games to be stealing all your information for whatever reason, like whether it be nefarious or they want to sell your info or whatever, like it's obviously fucked, like <laughs> Jesus. But that's just the homepage of loipole.com. We have the other pages too. There's a Discord, which I'm pretty sure is just like a Discord for the website, so I'm not going to bother joining or talking with that, doesn't matter. So we have the creep tab and the cuck tab. Let's go to the creep tab first. And then immediately upon hitting the creep tab, you already know we're, we're down, we're down bad for it because it says, the following page contains NSFW content, proceed at your own risk. So we got to strap in here. Now, the funniest part about this website is as soon as you go to either the creep or the cuck section, fucking Sonic, uh, Sonic like a gallery music plays in the background as you scroll through these screenshots. <laughs> it's just really funny. It's just really funny. Anyway, so the creep tab is a tab of just a bunch of screenshots of this Loipole person um, being fucking insane. Uh, we have here a screenshot that says, Can you groom me and give me the $10 Nitro Puiz with a little fucking seal, uh, fucking colon three? Great start. And then there's just like images of them sending like weird shit. Uh, and then there's like a bunch of images of them like wanting to like destroy someone's life or something. I, I don't even know. There's just a lot of screenshots here. And once again, this is a very surface level overview of everything that's on here. I'm not going to go super in depth because I, I don't have the time for that right now. But it's a lot of just sus ass screenshots, obviously. I'm not gonna go into it too hard. But that's the creep section. Now we have the cuck section. <laughs> so the cuck section uh, features a bunch of like screenshots and Discord chat logs of them, I guess, cheating on people and also being a cuck. 
Uh, I'm not gonna go through everything here, but I just wanted to point out that this being a section on this website is fucking hilarious. Like, imagine you're being exposed for all this shit. You put an IP logger, you're kind of a creep and a weirdo, and also you're a cuck. You're just also a cuck. Like, that's just also on the menu. <laughs> and the funniest part about this website is that it says coming soon, implying there's more shit. Like, this fucking website is insane, but I respect it. I mean, if you want to make this entire ass website to, like, archive every wrong thing this person has done, fuck it, dude. I mean, they probably deserve it. I mean, these screenshots are damning. That's for damn sure. Obviously, I can't show that many of them. I'm just talking about them because a lot of them are just kind of weird. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all I got to say about the Pizza Tower cheesed up drama. Thank you for everyone telling me to talk with this because holy shit, I did not realize the extent of this. Once again, someone could easily make a scripted video about all this. I'm, I don't think I'm the person to do it, at least not right now, because I don't have the time to put into researching this, but this is, this is insane. <laughs> Once again, sorry if I got something wrong. Uh, I'm just kind of going over this as best as I can uh, with like very minimal research, because I got to get this video out, you know, the daily grind. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I, you can, I'm not going to link in the description, but I mean, the, I, uh, the, uh, the URL to go to this website is just loypole.com. Uh, just, you know, reminder, uh, disclaimer, there is NSFW content within the screenshots on this site. So, I mean, if you're a minor or a kid or whatever, you know, be cautious. Don't go on the site or at least don't click on the, uh, the creep and the cuck tab. Just kind of keep it to the git history. But yeah, there's some, there's some pretty heinous shit on the site. So I recommend staying away unless you're, uh, you're of age, but yeah, no, this, this whole drama is, uh, it's a little fucky, isn't it? So that's pretty much it. Thank you all so much for watching. I didn't expect to be talking about this today, and I didn't expect there to be so much to talk about. Like, I feel like I'm just scratching the surface of this. This is a very surface level overview of everything, but uh, yeah, that's where I'm gonna wrap it up for today. Thank you all so much for watching. I've been Aya Gaming, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye, everybody.